exciting news in the competitive data science arena. So Kaggle is definitely not the only game in town. Uh, there is the KDD Cup, which really is the, the OG of competitive data science. More on that in a second, but looking at the results that were very, very recently just announced, you can see that the NVIDIA Merlin team swept the competition. There were three simultaneous tracks going on for this competition that ran for three months that 450 different teams competed in. This is the 27th such uh, challenge from KDD. Like I said, it, it goes back since before we even called data science data science. And very exciting results. The NVIDIA Merlin team, and Merlin is one of the machine learning libraries available from NVIDIA, particularly for recommender systems, which is what this was about. So let's talk about really this accomplishment here. First of all, just KDD itself is one of the original conferences on data science. KDD stands for Knowledge Discovery in Databases. And this was one of the original names for really data science, data mining, uh, this, this sort of thing. And every year this conference is put on by the ACM and they always sponsor a KDD cup. And the KDD Cup, they always call for proposals. Big companies and academia comes in and they propose different ideas for this competition. This year, Amazon was the company that put out the idea for this. And this came to be the Amazon Multilingual Recommender System. This is a database that Amazon released called the Shopping Session Database. This is a big data set and it is multilingual and contains multiple sessions as people went through the Amazon system and shopped for products. So having a look at it, it is hosted in something called AI Crowd, which is a kind of a Kaggle-esque system. I'm not that familiar with AI Crowd. How about any of you? Have you worked with AI Crowd? What do you think of it? Let me know in the comments but you can see the various tracks that were here. So the first track was predicting the next product to be recommended. The second was the next product recommended for underrepresented languages, so le less common languages. I think there were about six languages all total chosen for this. And then using generative. So task three was to actually predict the next title by generating it through the AI algorithms. Now, recommender algorithms are something that have been around for quite some time. Back when I was working on my PhD, I, I even published a paper on recommender algorithms, and it's, it's gotten some, some degree of interest. So it's, it's something that I've been interested in, but not a primary research focus of mine. So looking at the results, first of all, NVIDIA Merlin, you can see the team members here. One of the members that I have followed on Kaggle for quite some time is, uh, and forgive me if I pronounce his name hopefully close to what it is, uh, Jean-Francois Puget. So French, a French guy working with, Ka with Kaggle. Many Kaggle competitions. I have followed him since before he was a Kaggle master. And he's done really, really well. And you can see the complete team here. Five of them in total from NVIDIA. All Kaggle Grandmasters, very, very accomplished team for sure. And then some of the other teams are also featured here. I have not seen the solution posted yet, but I wouldn't rule that necessarily out. Uh, it might be like a Kaggle where they post the, the solution at some point. Any of you seen the solution for any of these competitions here on KDT? Let me know in the comments. I would definitely like to see a link to that if it's if it has been released yet. So recommender algorithms. You see these every day when you're on something like an Amazon. I'm not logged into Amazon for privacy reasons, but this 
this shows, I mean, every time I log in, somebody's like, you exposed your account number or something like that. So I'm just going to stay out of this so I, I don't forget to blur my account number. But you can see it's recommending products for me, and it has no real idea. It's giving me, if I was logged in with me, and you've seen this on Amazon yourself, it would be recommending, based on your product buying history, what would you be most likely to purchase next? The, and the data set for this is the Amazon M2. It's a multilingual, multilocal uh, shopping data set. So this is, this is a data set that was featured, as they say here, in KDD Cup 2023. I am sure we'll see a lot of subsequent research on this, just like you've seen on many of the previous KDD Cup challenges. And as far as the question, if the winning solution has been released, it does look like it's available from the URL from the paper that they reference here. It looks like there were several workshops held on this at KDD. And they, they, they give you a number of links and other information on it. I haven't had a chance to really look through all of this yet at this point, but it does look like they've like they've given you the information here. Well, KDD is something that I check out every single year because I've been watching it since before there was a Kaggle. And uh, if you want to check out other things related to artificial intelligence, uh, I post things as well as my class on deep learning and AI on this YouTube channel. So please like this video if you found it useful and subscribe. Thank you very much.